Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're cooking up some venison chili with Jason Phillips, Simpson County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Joanna. Well, I'm excited about today. I am too. You can't go wrong with chili on a cold winter's day and you know, it's that time of the year. And it's a great thing because our university has come up with some cook wild type recipes and this is one of those. Right. Being an outdoor enthusiast, I think it's really cool to see um, that, that we've got a lot of cook wild recipes and there's several for venison, which we're focusing on today. All right. Well, Jason, how do we get started? Well, first off, we've got a Dutch oven here. Um, you know, with most chili, we would brown the meat first and that's the same that we're going to do today. That's how we're going to get started. All right. So, so what you have in there is two tablespoons of oil and a pound? A pound of ground venison. Right. So we're just going to set the oven on medium heat. We also will brown our onions and our green peppers. So we're just going to dump them in. Okay. And that's one large diced onion. And then we have half of a green pepper diced. And mm -hmm. that's just going to add some flavor to our chili. I mean, those are kind of classic chili flavors. Exactly. Yeah, this sounds like a great recipe. So we're just going to begin browning it right now. And there are a lot of different cook wild recipes. Venison is probably one of the most popular wild game that we have in the state of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. But they have rabbit and turkey, duck even. There's a lot of different different cook wild recipes. I think there's even a turtle recipe that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> and these have been research tested mm -hmm. at the university um, and kind of given the stamp of approval and are available at our extension offices. Yes, yes, they're all available at all our local extension offices. And I would say total, there's probably 12 to 15 recipes available. There's a lot. All right, so people can call and get those. Jason, it looks like it's all brown, and this recipe is really easy. Once you have the ingredients, the next step is just dumping it all sure, in. Sure, sure. Yeah. Even I can do that. <laughs> okay, so. so there's two cans of chili beans there that are undrained. Mm -hmm. And chili beans, I mean, that beans are kind of a natural for chili. And then here's some diced tomatoes. Once you get that put in, that's a 16-ounce can of diced tomatoes. We don't need to drain those and then we have an eight ounce can of tomato sauce and that's just going to kind of add the base of our chili um, and very traditional type flavors but it's going to be a very hearty meal Jason with all these different things it added is to it. yeah I mean you just can't beat a good chili and this looks like it's a great recipe and um, I think it's going to go I think it's going to taste great when it's done I think so too and then we're going to add some spices and of course we have to have chili powder right there's a tablespoon uh, of chili powder there and then we have some garlic powder and some cumin that's half a teaspoon of that each and those are pretty strong flavors mm -hmm. so just half a teaspoon is going to add a lot of flavor it goes a long way yeah to this chili and then of course we have some salt and pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and then just some black pepper to taste. But Jason, I like black pepper. I and do so. too, it adds a little, and I love garlic in my, in my chili. Uh -huh. I think it gives it a great flavor. Yeah. And so there's just very minimal spices and then a bay leaf to kind of top it all off. We're gonna put that in there and we're gonna remove that before we eat it. But we can put that in there and I think that simmers for about an hour in that Dutch oven. It does. But you know, if you don't have time to sit and watch it, you wanna put it all in, you just brown your ground beef beforehand, put that in the crock pot, add all of your ingredients to your slow cooker, and then you can just let it simmer for four to six hours or until you get home. Mm -hmm. Sure, so yeah, if you don't have, you know, if you've got time but you're not able to sit there and watch it, it'll do just as well in a, in a slow cooker. Now Jason, if somebody's watching this and wants this recipe, but maybe they didn't go deer hunting or didn't get a deer this time, they can talk to their friends maybe mm -hmm. that have deer. I mean, the best outlet to, to get deer meat in Kentucky would either be from a friend that you know that deer hunts. Maybe you can work out a deal with them to obtain some venison or there's local processors. And we do have a publication available online that lists all the deer processors in Kentucky. And a lot of these participate in the Hunters for the Hungry program, which is a charitable program. And folks can get signed up for that to receive deer meat in that way as well. All right, Jason, well, I can't wait to try this. Thanks for coming with I'm us excited. today. <laughs> and showing us how to make this venison chili. If you'd like more information, make sure to contact your local extension office.